Insincerity is amongst the major sins, and it is for the person to intend by their good deeds, like fasting and praying, reciting the Qur'an, hajj, zakah, different charities, and good treatment of others, the praise of the people, and their holding him in high regard. Now if he adds to this the intention of people giving him gifts and other givings, then his state becomes worse. This is because it is consumption of people's wealth unrightfully. Insincerity nullifies the reward of the deed that it is associated with. So if he repents during the deed, then what he does after repenting would be rewardable for him. So any good deed which insincerity enters into, then there is no reward for it. This is whether he intended to be completely insincere, or he paired insincerity with seeking the reward from Allah. For reward and insincerity do not coexist at the same time in a deed. This is because of the hadith of Abu Dawood and an nasai with a chain that goes back to Abu Umama that he said, جَاءَ رَجُلٌ فَقَالَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ أَرَأَيْتَ رَجُلًا غَزَى يَلْتَمِسُ الْأَجْرَ وَالذِّكْرِ مَا له. He said, O Messenger of Allah, what is the case of a man who fought, seeking the reward and the praise of others? What does he have? قَالَ لَا شَيْءَ له. The Prophet said, He has no reward. فَأَعَادَهَا ثَلَاثًا كُلَّ ذَلِكَ يَقُولْ لَا شَيْءَ له. So the man repeated the question, asking three times, and each time the Prophet ﷺ said, لا شيء له, meaning he has no reward. ثم قال له رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله لا يقبل من العمل إلا ما كان خالصا له وما ابتغي به وجهه. Then the Messenger of Allah عليه الصلاة والسلام said. Certainly, Allah does not accept any deed except that which was done sincerely for His sake only. Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar mentioned in Al-Fatih that the chain of this hadith is strong. Al-Hakim narrated in his Mustadrak that the Prophet wasallam said, اتقوا الرياء فإنه الشرك الأصغر which means protect yourselves from insincerity for indeed it is the lesser shirk. This was classed as sahih by al-hakim and as zahabi agreed with him upon this. This means that insincerity is a major sin and it does not mean that insincerity takes the person out of al-Islam. The Muslim who is insincere is still considered a believer, however, he is a major sinner. We ask Allah the Exalted to protect us and our hearts from insincerity. And Allah Ta'ala knows best. <laughs>